then you like enter. Yeah. Parker, you have to say action so we know that you Oh, I've been going for five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How does my good Lord Hamlet? Well, God of mercy. Do you know me, my lord? Excellent well. You are a fishmonger. Not I, my lord. Then I would you were so honest a man. Honest, my lord? I, sir, to be honest as this world goes is to be one man picked out of ten thousand. That's very true, my lord. For the sudden breed maggots and a dead dog being a ki good kissing carry-on, have you a daughter? I have, my lord. Let her not walk in the sun. Conception is a blessing. But as your daughter may conceive, friend would to her. How say you by that, still harping on my daughter, yet he know not at me at first. He said I was a fishmonger, he is far gone, and truly in my youth I suffered much extremity for love near this. I'll speak to him again. What do you read, my lord? Words, words, words. What is the matter, my lord? Between who? I mean the matter that you read, my lord. Slander, sir, for the satirical rogue says here that old men have gray beards, that their faces are wrinkled, their eyes purging thick amber and plum tree gum, and that they have a plentiful lack of wit, together with most weak hands, all which, sir, though I most powerfully and potently believe, yet I hold it not honestly to have it thus set down. For yourself, sir, shall grow old as I am, if like a crab you could go backwards. Though this be madness, yet there is method in it. Will you walk out of this air, my lord? Into my grave? Indeed, out of the air. How pregnant sometimes his replies are, a happiness that often madness hits on, which reason and sanity could not be, could not so prosperously be delivered of. I will leave him and suddenly contrive the means of meeting between him and my daughter. My lord, I will take my leave of you. You cannot, sir, take from me anything that I will more willingly part with all, except my life, except my life, except my life. Fare you well, my lord. These tedious old fools.